Hey, good afternoon. I'm hoping to see you Sunday morning for family groups and worship. And during our time of worship on Sunday morning, we plan to finish our our Church Undivided series. And we're going to be talking about the goal of all of this. What's the goal of our discipleship efforts? What's the goal of our unity? The, The fact that we want to strive together to be disciples, to make disciples. What's the goal of all of it? And of course, it's all for the glory of God. That's the goal. That's our purpose. That's our, our ought to be our longing to see God get all the glory, get all the credit. And so we're going to talk about two basic steps to fulfill God's purpose for our lives, for your life, for my life. Uh, two basic steps to make sure that he does get the glory. And really, if you think about it, it it's really, I'm not going to be sharing anything on Sunday morning that's some new idea that I came up with. We're going to be looking, of course, at 1 Corinthians chapter 10. And we're going to be in verses 23 to the end of the chapter, just uh, eight verses uh, into chapter 11, verse 1 as well. And so we're going to talk about that, that, that goal that we ought to have all being for the glory of God. And really it boils down to two things, which is really what the Christian life boils down to, and that's God and people. And so loving God and loving people. But how do we do that? How do we really, practically speaking, how do we prove, how do we live a life that shows that we love God? How do we live a life that shows that we love people? How do we really prioritize the important relationships that we have? The relationship, first and foremost, that we have with God, the one who sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins and make a way for us to have eternal life by giving us a way to turn from sin and trust in him. So how do we how do we have that love for God? How do we prove that love for God? How do we live a life that shows that love for God? But then also, how do we then also love others? And and what does that look like in the church? What does that look like in our daily efforts to be disciples who make disciples? And Paul gives some really straightforward, really simple advice in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 uh, and going into chapter 11 as he finishes this idea. But he says, for example, in chapter 10, verse 31, therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for God's glory. In other words, we want God's name to be made much of. We want to point people to God. And so we're going to talk about the Sunday morning. What does that look like? I hope you'll join us 930 for family groups, 1040 for our worship celebration. Looking forward to seeing you then.